my goal is to invite people who have been really kind of anti-fat, invite them to try and enjoy cheese without guilt. Do you have any recommendations? Is What kind of message do you think the public needs to know about health in terms of cheese? Well, I'm uh, an ex-athlete of sorts. I, I ran cross country mm -hmm. in high school and college, and we tried every crazy thing under the sun, mm -hmm. carbo loading. And the problem with yep. cross country is it's such an intense and short run that carbo loading doesn't usually yeah. kick in until after 45 Right. Minutes of but three miles is a cross country. Uh, well, distance. for high school, right. and then college, you're, you're six? 10, 10 k. So it's six point four. Yeah. Okay. In college, I started eating high protein, mm. and I started running better than I ever ran before. Mm. Wow. And high school, we tried everything. We we tried yeah. honey loading, yeah. chocolate loading, <laughs> beer loading. Um, no, we didn't. No beer loading, but um. You know, an hour before a meet, we would sit there and guzzle mm -hmm. honey or guzzle maple syrup, or yeah. and it was it was horrible. Mm -hmm. It was yep. absolutely horrible. We you know, I managed to go to state three years in a row, but wow. um, yeah. you just felt like junk. I mean, you you ran hard, mm -hmm. but you crashed like Soon. right no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, I started loading up with uh, rice and beans or rice and beans and lentils and. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, higher proportion of, and that was brown rice, it wasn't mm -hmm. white rice. Right, yeah. um, lots of fish, mm -hmm. you know, um, chicken, lean beef, mm -hmm. and I ran better and faster than I'd ever mm. wow. run in high school. Maybe I got a little bit smarter. We sell a lot of cheese in, in Jackson, Wyoming. It is the home of some of the best full-time athletes that's the lifestyle yeah. and over the years I've developed a relationship with a lot of really uber athletes and yeah. I said you know you're drinking these little gel packs and sugar bombs I said have you ever tried just taking a piece of cheese with you for the day mm -hmm. and at first they were skeptical I said here you know have this for free take it so they yeah. came back and they couldn't believe how much more stamina and Amazing. strength they had throughout the day yeah. and not only that but they didn't feel hungry mm -hmm. And one of the unique things about cheese is a lot of people freak out about how expensive mm -hmm. quality cheese is, but ounce for ounce, you can't beat the nutrient mm -hmm. dense quality of cheese. The number of calories in one gram or one ounce of cheese, when you compare it even to like pure protein like chicken or beef, yeah. it's almost three times more. Yeah. But um, What's happened, back to your original question, is people have been brainwashed from back in the 70s that fat's what kills people. Mm -hmm. And so we've had this culture for 30 plus years mm -hmm. that fat kills, we stay away from it, and we've all been starving for the last 30 years, getting fatter, getting sicker, yep. because we've been told, um, in my belief, a, a lie about fat. Gosh, this has been a great interview, and thank you for taking the time uh, from your ACS, you know, meetings and everything, to talk to me. And I'm I'm pretty sure that I will be calling you again, and I want to talk again about the athlete's diet because that's something that that I actually know something about. Whereas cheese, you know, it's a new thing. But um, we'll be in touch. Thanks a lot. Yep.